Hi everyone, I'm Jerusha and you're watching Jerusha to a TV. I'm back with my first ever hair tutorial. We are heading out tonight for a festive holiday event. Uh, you can probably see in the video here that there's a few glitters going around. That's because I'm in a festive glittery dress tonight and I have my hair all ready to go, makeup finished, and I thought I'd take the opportunity to film this tutorial. Seeing as though it is the festive season here in Australia, for you guys up north in the northern hemisphere, it's cold, but for us Aussies, it's really hot. And at the moment, the temperatures are around 28 degrees at night, so it's still very balmy, as they say, and a little bit humid. As you can see, I have my weaves back in, uh, longer hair at the moment. I'm going to get all this hair and pop it on top of my head. That's right, I'm going to do a donut bun, a sea urchin bun, a top knot bun, all the different names for it. I am going to do a bun on the top of my head. To make note, this is a Jerusha Couture sequin dress. This is a gold chain from Colette. And my makeup today is uh, quite festive. It's quite dark. I've done a bit of a Marilyn Monroe eye there with uh, a wing and very gold and uh, very luxe looking for the holiday season. I'm going to try and pop the camera up on a better angle so you can see me grab all this hair and do the actual tutorial. So let me go ahead and do that. <laughs> this is the best angle I could sort of get, guys. So sorry about that. First up, you're going to grab your paddle brush. This is the best paddle brush I've ever owned. Actually, the best brush. It was about seven or eight dollars from Priceline. I'm going to continue along here, brushing through this hair. I now have my weaves in, so there's a lot more hair than usual to smooth out. Once it's all smoothed out, start to brush it backwards. It makes it a lot easier to Grab it all up into the ponytail and desired height that you want it on your head. I grab it all up in my hand. Sometimes I flip my head over, makes it much easier. So I'm scooping it up all here, grab my paddle brush again and just smooth it out. I like to usually have it on the tippy top of my head. Here I'm just going to measure probably a hand width back to set the ponytail about not too high but pretty high. Ding! Look how long that hair is. So that's the back view as well. Make sure I've got that all up there. Then what I'm going to do is grab my hair ties, double because I like it nice and strong, and wrap it around. I don't like my hair to be too tight. I do like a very polished look, but I don't like getting a headache over the duration of a night. So I make sure there's a little bit of slack. Grab that paddle brush and brush out my pony. Ding! So much hair with my weaves. Then it's time for the old donut. These guys you can grab at Kmart or Target or any little store like that, Equip and Diva. I grabbed this from Equip, it was $5. And then you're just gonna pull the ponytail through the hole of the donut. Just keep a firm grip on the donut when it gets down to the base of your ponytail. I'm gonna zoom on in here, I'm gonna show you that is the final look you're going for of your donut on the bottom of your ponytail. Grab your bobby pins to secure your donut down. That is the biggest little secret. Instead of trying to put your hair all around the donut and it's not secured, it makes your job a lot harder. So just grab all your bobby pins and go around the donut. I usually do one at the front, one at the back, and one on the side. We just secure it there, nice and firm. And then this is your most important part. I'm just going to drop the hair nice and softly all around the donut. I like to call this the hair fountain look. The hair is just spouting out there. You kind of look like Cousin It. 
and if you part a little bit it makes life a bit easier to see. Grab your brush again and just smooth it all out from coming out the top of the donut there because that's going to be the center feature from the top view. Grab a hair tie, slip it around the top of the donut, securing the hair down around it. There's a closer look. So you can see it really gives it that traditional donut shape. Create a little part in the front, that's the way I like to do it. And then from one side, you're going to start twisting that extra hair very neatly, twisting and wrapping it around the donut bun. Simple, quick and easy. It's so easy to do. It's easy to pull the hair around in the direction you're going to help you so you don't clog up with a whole lump of too much hair on one side and not enough on the other. So keep bringing it around. And look at that, starting to get a beautiful twist there. So I've just brought that all the way around there. Now you can see the effect of the twist that it's finishing off with there. I'm bringing the end of the hair right back around and securing that with a bobby pin. So there we go, securing that tail with a bobby pin. I'm going to speed this part up because we're going to put bobby pins all the way around the base. So there we go, nice and secure. All finished there. You can see I've zoomed in again nice and close to show you the wrap effect around the donut. Very clean. What you can do, this doesn't go with the outfit I'm wearing, but on a casual day, I grab a little slide like this adorable bow. I have blogged about this bow, my blog style on my Facebook page. Check it out. This bow is so cute for a casual look. Now I'm going to grab my hairspray, do a little bit of hairspraying, actually quite soft. I want to keep it quite misty and soft tonight. I don't want to look too severe. And there we have it. Ding! Love it. So to complete the look tonight, I'm wearing my Gucci Guilty fragrance. I'm pairing this with my new double flap classic Chanel bag. So there you go guys, all finished with my uh, bun, donut bun on the top of my head tutorial. I hope that was a little bit clear. I know it was voiceover. It's just far too noisy in this bathroom to talk you through each step. Uh, but yeah, this is usually how I wear my hair when I go out to most uh, parties or functions when it's really humid here in Sydney. Just gets my hair up off my neck and especially because now I have my weaves back in. You can get your hands on one of these donut buns or urchins at any pharmacy or chemist. You can get them on Woolworths, Priceline, lots of places like that. Okay, that does it for my festive hair tutorial tonight. Uh, if you do like these sort of videos, I know it's, it's very odd for a fashion guru to do these, but if you do like them, when I am getting ready for functions, I will film. It's, it's actually quite fun to have you guys with me when I'm doing stuff. But anyway, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. My absolute best wishes to everyone out there for the new year, for the Christmas time, and for the festive season. Much love, guys. Thanks for watching. Peace.